hello everyone welcome back to my channel i want to make jollof rice stew yes i want to show you step by step how to make jollof rice stew this is tomatoes this is fresh tomatoes i prepared it's frozen you can see it i just brought it from the freezer this is bell pepper red bell pepper I'll be adding two pasta tomatoes. Then I have Gino. I'll make one pot of jollof rice stew. I'll put it in the freezer. Whenever I want to make jollof rice, I will take it. Here I have curry, thyme, paprika, and bell leaf. I have here ginger and garlic, chicken seasoning, and mixed spices. I have here onion, pepper, and two tuna mangi. I'll blend some of the onion with the pepper. Here is the blended pepper and the onion. I'll cut the remaining one. Everything is ready. The pot is on the fire heating up. Let's start frying. While the pot is dry, we add oil. Use any oil of your choice. I'm using sunflower oil. Add enough oil. When you finish making your stew, if the oil is too much, you can easily reduce it. Add. My oil wasn't very hot before I add the onion. So allow your oil to be hot before you add onion. Then I'll fry this onion for a bit. I'll add tomatoes puree. The next thing is to add tomatoes puree. Here is tomatoes puree. I'll stir it. This is how I make jollof rice stew. I don't put meat in. I don't add water. After making it, I'll put it in a bowl, freezer bowl, put it in the freezer. Whenever I want to make jollof rice, I'll take one bowl, according to the quantity of jollof rice I want to make, boil meat, use the water, the meat water and make my jollof rice. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video. If you are new on this channel, my name is Teresa and this is Tessie's Hot Kitchen. If you are old on this channel, thank you for always coming back to watch my video. I didn't take your support for granted. God bless you all. This time I start adding all the spices, thyme, curry, and paprika. Then 
ginger, garlic, chicken in season, and mixed spices. Stir all together. I will lower the light. Let it fry on a low heat. It has been frying in a low heat. I will add the tomatoes and onion I blend. Here is the blended onion and pepper. I will add it in. Then I will add pasta tomatoes. it frozen tomatoes fresh frozen tomatoes and I have to use my hand I don't want I don't want it to split everywhere add it and bell pepper frozen bell pepper I'll add no mangy you can break it up you can leave it it will still melt later then i'll stir it it's still block so i'll cover it up I'll add the bell leaf as the last thing. I'll cover it up, allow it to fry. The tomatoes and bell pepper melting gradually you can see it melting fry it in a low heat you don't want it to burn i'll cover it up allow it to fry until the bell pepper and tomatoes dissolve then you can see you can see oil on top. You can see oil on top of it. You know that it is done. Jollof rice too. You don't fry it very dry. You can see the oil is floating on top. This is how I prepare jollof rice stew. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in another video.